It's gonna take you back to the past To talk about Linux when no one asked He'd rather not use Windows 10 Out of irrational privacy fears He'd rather use a Jet2 Linux So he can brag to all his friends he doesn't have He's the angriest man you've ever heard He's the angry Ubuntu nerd He's the angry computer Debian nerd He's the angry Linux nerd Linux is an operating system like no other. If you were to ask a Mac OS X user from 10 years ago to use Mac OS X today, they probably wouldn't have much of an issue. The same goes for Windows. It hasn't really changed since Windows 95 with all the start menu layout and all that. But for Linux, we're talking about a completely different story. Everything keeps changing every single day. People are coming up with new innovations, whether they be glorious or crap. We've already talked about this before in these videos, like for example the Len Pottering system d but there's a lot more out there to criticize. And there's also a lot more out there to get really, really angry about. So today, we're going to take a look at a project aiming to solve one of Linux's biggest issues, which is binary compatibility. I'm of course talking about snap packages. So are snap packages the future of binaries, or are they snap crap? Let's find out on this episode of the Angry Linux Nerd. Taking the liberty of installing a snap package from the snap store, or snapcraft, they can't really decide on a name for it. And I installed gparted, which is a basic partitioning tool that I'm sure you're familiar with at home. So I'm going to try to run it now as a snap package. Oh, okay, well after that eternity that it took to launch, it's not even following my GTK theme. But everything appears to be here, I mean, it's functioning as an actual package, and I don't really see any massive issue in terms of performance. Oh wait, hold on. Why are my fans spinning up? Why am I using 5 gigabytes of RAM? Alright, so it's been a few hours of trying to fix this problem over here. It appears that my computer has become part of some kind of mega Linux botnet hive mind thing. It's like the Matrix now, and, and I honestly have no idea. I keep trying to gain access, but it, it keeps saying that I'm not its master, and that computers are going to be free by a company that begins with the letter C. So now I'm going to do a little bit more research into this and find out exactly why installing a snap package has turned my computer into part of a botnet. Well, after scrounging the house for computers that hadn't been compromised by the snap botnet, I had to settle for the lowest common denominator type, a crappy budget Lenovo Atom processor foldable laptop with a bunch of stickers on it clearly added to it by some person with the mentality of an eight-year-old. But anyways, it has Alpine Linux. I'm going to use this to research who exactly is behind this snap botnet and what is causing my computer to act so strange. Huh. Of course, it's all clear now. I know exactly who's responsible for this. The Canonic Cox! <sighs> well, it's been a few hours of researching this, and I still have no idea who these people are, where they are, or most importantly, why they're doing this with these snaps. Lobster, do you have any idea? Well, Lobster, I think we've lost all possible leads. We have no idea where these canonic cucks could be. However, I know something for certain, and that is that I'm going to make it my life goal to get all these stupid snap craps out of distributions. Hold on. What's that noise? Hello, bitch. The Canonicucks. This is them. Stupid canonical. A large corporation trying to ruin my Linux by doing stupid, stupid, completely out of touch things. I ought to teach you a lesson. Well, last time we let it pattering, I violently beat him up in what was clearly an act of unwarranted aggression. In this case, I have a far more elegant solution. Goodbye, b And no one will ever know. Loved, we did it. We saved the world from snap crap. Now my computer isn't a botnet anymore. Look, Loved, it's all perfectly functional. 
Now, I can finally go back to doing everything I used to do. I can stop joining stupid botnets. Well, ladies and gentlemen, making my videos on snaps today, I wasn't expecting my computer to suddenly turn on me and start joining some giant canonic cuck botnet. Now, obviously, that's all an exaggeration. Me and Lobter are excellent actors. But the most important thing to take away here is that snaps are indeed very, very large. They don't integrate well with systems, and they're generally an inelegant solution for the problem of binary compatibility. In my opinion, the true solution is for a lot of these developers' libraries to stop removing bugs. Because, you know, once people rely on a bug, it's not a bug, it's a feature. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Angry Linux Nerd. I've got a lot more things to rant about, so it's not like I'm going to be stopping anytime soon. Goodbye.